Okay, this is the uh, compressor bleed valve. Compressor bleed valve description operation from the Pratt & Whitney Canada Maintenance Manual. And basically this is how the compressor bleed valve works. Uh, what happens is you've got P3, which is pressure stage three compressor discharge air that is entering into this compressor bleed valve. Now this compressor bleed valve sits in the gas generator case. It's obviously got a cover right up here. And when it's lined up, when you put it in, it's lined up by this spring pin, which aligns the compressor discharge exit air into the housing. So what happens is that P3 compressor stage air uh, enters into the housing and flows into a primary orifice. That primary orifice has a convergent divergent effect. Um, and the plug there basically redirects uh, that air into the top of the piston right here is the piston That's all right here That piston is supported by this rolling diaphragm. It creates the barrier between the top uh, and the bottom side basically px between p 2.5 and that air continues to flow through here It has a final convergent divergent orifice and that creates basically a ratio and that gives you the px which is the poti potentiometric pressure which is on top of the piston and basically the way this works is you've got an intake of p 2.5 interstage air this for this uh, particular thing it's going to be the uh, pressure between the third compressor and the second uh, compressor so right in between them and that pressure of that air is coming in on the bottom of the piston so this whole function works off px over p 2.5 if px is greater than the pressure at the interstage air p 2.5 then that piston will begin to close if p 2.5 pressure is greater than px that piston begins to open and so what happens is the primary function of this is to is to stop um, or keep the engine from having a compressor uh, surge or stall and so during low idle functions what's happening is that px is not going to be greater than p 2.5 which is going to open that piston allowing some of the air from the compressor to discharge to the atmosphere uh, let's say you advance the throttle at full throttle uh, that px is going to be at its greatest and it's going to close the piston and so if you uh, for instance are at cruise px is going to close as it closes it's forcing more air into the compressor because it's not being discharged to atmosphere and so the piston begins to close well as the piston begins to close that air is forced into the compressor creating uh, uh, creating um, the cooling of the compressor and then you will also have p 2.5 increasing in pressure and so that's where you get this modulating effect of the piston in the compressor bleed valve and that modulating effect during that effect p 2.5 interstage air remains constant with the p3 compressor discharge air uh, so that's the main function of it uh, or the, the the how it works the main function of the compressor bleed valve is to uh, stop that compressor um, uh, surge or the compressor stall especially during low idle rpm